back. But, uh, <laughs> you know, and then my mother would get back. Were you eating candy? No. If you get, no. If you get sick, you don't get any more candy. Well, yeah, well, I sick. have a feeling that Dennis liked this time of year. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. So, so I mean, my, uh, I remember my, my, one of my little sisters basically had had railroad track put in. Mm -hmm. And my mother told her specifically, no chewy candy for you. So you can guess what she was eating the entire time we were out for a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. Every piece of thing that could get stuck in those railroad tracks, she was eating. And then she'd go, can't let, let mommy see it, can't let mommy see it. So we, we stopped off at my, we went over, out of the way over to where my mother's restaurant was mm -hmm. and said, can we have something to drink? And they said, oh, she's been eating things your mother told her she could have, hasn't she? Uh-huh. Yeah. And they said, you know, we've got to tell your mother. And I, and, and I said, no, you don't. You know, said, yes, we're mom, we've got to tell your mother. And then they say, well, you know, I could be very up and okay, then I'll tell my mother about, oh, you wouldn't do that. It's not what bad, you know. I was bad when I was young. No, I, 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 okay, I grew up sitting under counters and stuff. I knew what waitresses and stuff were doing. So, so I, in order to shut them up about my, but we still, mothers always know anyway. I mean, we go yeah, back. Yeah, so. And they said, uh, uh, because they'd always do stupid things. Like, they wouldn't, because they were very conscientious, they wouldn't throw the stupid wrappers away. Well, like. And you dump a thing in the middle of a deal and it's full of empty wrappers with chewy stuff. Them. Well, guess what? Yeah, and I, and then they say, and then I would be the one. I get it from my mother, and I get it from my sisters. Well, you should have known better. And then why didn't you tell us? Yeah, and then the sisters. Well, he should have known better. And then mother, yeah, that's right. He should have known better. And then my father, what should he have known? <laughs> my father would be that. He would be the Aussie. Nelson, what what is he? What did he do this time? He let your daughter eat chewy candy, and he knew that she couldn't do it because of her railroad tracks. And they said, "Well, did she have a good time?" <laughs> so that was, yeah. they would give you that little, and then my mother, would, okay, but you, young man, we're going to have a discussion. So you, you got in trouble. I didn't make any difference. I was being good. I'm, I'm sitting there covering their butts for them. Mm. And then I got in trouble, which is n never be an older brother with sisters. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. They get you in trouble all the time, you know. My brother, you know, like my brother. Oh, did you have a good time? Yeah. Did you eat? Did you eat too much bubble gum? Yeah. Said, did you spit the bubble gum out? No. <laughs> so anytime he spilled full of bubble gum, my brother would not spit bubble gum out. He's, really? He, he thought you were supposed to eat it, so God knows what his stomach was like. But, but no, it just, I grew up in an era, and I mean, like I am way older than she is. You know, I was out of college before, long out of college before she was even born. But um, my era was of a different time when you could go out, where you could go out on the streets at night in Los Angeles. Or you could go people up to people's houses. Every house in the neighborhood was lit up when I was young. Everybody made certain they, I mean, you had the mothers that were cooking stuff for, they were basically mothers you didn't think would cook. We were cooking cookies. They were making uh, candies and stuff. Basically, some of them were very proud of, actually, a lot of them were proud of the wine they were making for daddy. So daddies would come, oh, okay, would you have some of our, oh, God, that's really good cider. What's in it? They said, well, it's, it's really good cider. Uh-huh. Yeah. So the fathers would be there. You know, they have these things, you know, the parents would be talking to the stuff and because, like I said, my father did not go. My mother did not go, so. See, that's part of the history of Halloween. Yeah. No, because my father would never go. My, I no, don't remember be... ever seeing my father go out on Halloween. And I think it had to do with the fact he, he was... He stayed at the house? And, you know, he stayed at the house all the time. It works this way. My mother was a, my mother helped found a lot of restaurant chains, but my mother was a restaurant manager when I was a little kid. And she worked, you know, because she, you know, she was in charge of stuff. And my mother never, until my mother got old, she never got to celebrate holidays. She never spent a Christmas at home because Christmas, they were always open. Somebody has to be there. So uh, my father would stay minding the thing, well, actually, because I had to give her all the candy out real quick is what I would have done, you know. I always did a bit, you know. We shouldn't take all you want. You know, we got more. So, <laughs> so, 
his job. But uh, he basically would stay behind to make certain that I wouldn't be bad. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a kid for Christ's sake. You know, I'm seven years older than my sisters. So naturally, when I'm going out with my sisters, you know, they're, I'm a teenager basically when I'm actually going out with my sisters and they weren't walking at me. I had to carry them around for a while. We didn't have baby care. My mother did not believe in baby carriages or strollers. So I'd walk with one under each arm, park them on the ground, and they go, take a treat. Oh, aren't you so cute and adorable? And they go, they just look real cute and adorable like Monty does. Oh, here's some more candy for you. So don't think I didn't milk them for everything they had to at that age. <laughs> and then we got you it. You helped them with their candy. Yeah, I I kept while they were going along, and I get the I get the when Monty gives us the eye. I get I get two sets of eyes. <laughs> you know, they give me the Shirley Temple pal. Of course. You know, and and they would tell people I took their candy, and you and then you dump a bag is about this thick on the ground canvas bag, and and they say not that you notice he didn't take it. So. But um, that was my Halloween. It's just I try to inject the things because I I come from a total. I actually I come from before her parents, almost before her parents' generation. You know, and um, things it was a different world in those days. It was a lot more fun when I was growing up than it was for my youngest. By the time my youngest came around, the world had changed so much that she really never got to do the trick. I mean, I would take her over to the affluent neighborhoods where I knew that we could get her, you know, we could go around because I always knew that they were a place that kids were. Mm -hmm. And if I didn't see groups of kids, I mean, I'd go driving around. If there were not groups of kids, I wouldn't take her near there. Now, we'd go join a group and I'd be walking around with the other parents and we'd be talking about things. And, and then the guy, you know, one of them say, okay, not this house. You know, tell, tell her, tell her we're skipping this house, and I would never know. I sort of wouldn't know why, but they would just go around the house that had a light on, and we go to another house. Mm -hmm. So I tell my, you know, when you try telling a little kid, like, you know, we're gonna have to, they, you know, we're gonna have to bypass this house. So I wouldn't ask why. It wasn't my neighborhood, because my neighborhood didn't have trick or treaters. Like I said, you go out next, you go out and it would talk to the other dads and. Uh, you know, there's nobody trick-or-treating in this neighborhood. God, it's got awful safe neighborhood, folks. It's in Brentwood. Mm -hmm. you, you know, it's really... They all went to the parties. They went to the parties. And it didn't dawn, on, didn't dawn on any of the parents over there. Well, if the kids are at the parties, they're not trick-or-treating. Mm -hmm. so, so, but that's, that's my life. And, you know, well, next time will be, I'll try to inflect new things on, on Thanksgiving on you. I, you get my uh, bits and pieces over the last six, seven years, you've been hearing what it was like in my world, which is another, you know, I mean, we're talking, you know, eight decades ago, which is a long time ago. And then, you know, like I said, she came from a nunnery, so. So, you wouldn't think that by looking at her. She had really liberal nuns. They all went around in, in string bikinis and, and sang and danced on tables and stuff. And, you know, but uh, I guess until... Thanks. Next, 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 next holiday, holiday, next holiday would be Thanksgiving. And I have to dream of something different for next Christmas. It'll be Thanksgiving, and then we'll have uh, Christmas. Christmas. Christmas, and we're gonna. Christmas is gonna be different this next one because we we'll guarantee you there'll probably be Christmas music the ne uh, for the Christmas thing, which I don't know if I can get on or not, but we'll see. But until next, until um, actually until. Thanksgiving, this is Old Camp. This is not a spring chicken. We'll hear it yesterday, today, and tomorrow. For more information, you can go to www.montybobo.net on the net. And wherever you're watching us, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D, and thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet. <laughs>